when you scale, you're ultimately any process that you build is going to hit a breaking point at scale and you're going to have to rebuild. And the great thing about what you just said too, is that when you allow the team to be part of the solution, that's something that they can really take pride and be proud of. Um, uh, they can really be proud of being part of. So I love that. And you're right. It's hard work. It's, it's, uh, it can be brutally hard when you're scaling it and you're in hyper growth and you need to make these changes, but it's so worth it, right? It's so worth it. And it just positions the company and the team for the next phase of growth. So, um, it's, it's in my opinion, necessary to get the best results for everybody. It's, um, I think it's interesting because a lot of times leaders will ask, well, how do we figure out what to focus on or what matters? And it's, well, did you ask, <laughs> did you ask your employees? Cause if you just, if you, if you ask them, they'll tell you, they have plenty of feedback. I guarantee it. And, uh, that's something that we're actually, we do quite often is we ask, we're asking candidates, we're asking employees for their feedback. We'll send out certain surveys. We'll do it. Uh, on uh, meetings, um, we'll we'll do it on one on ones. We're constantly asking for how can we optimize uh, toward your experience to make this the, so to help you get the most out of life professionally and personally. And that's really, I mean, your your people will tell you exactly what they what they need and what they want uh, if if you if you cultivate an environment where they understand that it matters to you as as a leadership team. But you know, I think that companies need to, generally speaking, do a better job optimizing toward uh, employee experience, creating great experiences and outcomes for clients and employees. That's literally what I spend all day, every day focused on is how can I create incredible experiences for these two groups? Companies have to do a better job optimizing toward that. I think a lot of companies, they spend, particularly in early days of scale, they're very focused on revenue, product and engineering motions. And I think the people and talent functions kind of fall by the wayside or fall behind, right? And then they kind of hit this point where those functions are in complete atrophy and they're trying to play catch up and figure out what to do. I think the best place to start is just talk to your employees, sit down and try to make sure you have that trust in place where they can share that feedback. And then you just have to work really hard on implementing. Obviously, it's a lot easier to ask and collect feedback than it is to sometimes implement. Sometimes you need structural changes. You know, for instance, if you if one of your values is to have a really good work-life balance or for people to not have to work over 40, 45 hours a week, then you need to make sure that you have the right structure in place at scale to ensure that people have the capacity to uh, not work uh, too long hours too often and also are empowered to take the PTO that that you know you're giving them, even if it's like three, four weeks. So I think I think that there should be, a, for a lot, most companies, there needs to be a much better feedback loop and implementation loop uh, from leadership to employees to ensure that great experiences are being created. Um, at least that's something I'm seeing on my side of Secure Vision, not only internally, it's something that we prioritize, but something we are constantly pushing for our clients to do more of. It, it almost doesn't matter how much they're doing. We're always pushing them to do this more because we know it's going to have a, a positive impact on their business.